Okay, the next step in the process uh, that is required to uh, create what we will need to create the concept art that we need is to uh, create a Quixel account. Now, the good news is, is anybody who has an Epic Game uh, account uh, gets access to Quixel for free. So it's important that you've already created your Epic Games account, like I showed you, I think, in step one or two. And uh, otherwise, this won't work. And once we've installed or created this Epic Games account, we're going to install another software called Bridge. And the Bridge is basically a tool that allows you to get some of the really cool graphics that you see in IN games and put them into your project. Now, I'm going to just mention this a few times. Now, in Quixel, uh, when you do work with your students, make sure you do your research first and that they only select a few assets. So an asset is anything, by the way, that you put in a video game. It could be a building. It could be the color of the grass. It could be some trees. Uh, and it's simple because those assets take up space on the hard drive, uh, of course. So you don't want to uh, uh, have the students put like 50 things on the hard drive for their project. It'll, you know, you know, 10 to 20 is the max. 20 would be the max uh, because it'll, again, take up space. So uh, let's start by doing this. So we're going to click sign in and we're going to sign in with our Epic Game account. And uh, it's going to do that because it remembers me as I logged into this browser. And there's my account. OK. And now I would recommend that teachers have this software installed by the school board. Uh, it'd be a lot simpler. Um, maybe it won't work uh, with your computers at school. I don't know. You know, it's all these. But this software, all it does is it acts as a bridge. And the only key that you need to make it work is your Epic Game account. So I'm going to click download. And uh, it will download. It doesn't cost anything. There's no licensing issues. Well, in fact, uh, just so you know, Epic Games provides this software for free for education. If you were in the private sector, you would have to pay. Uh, and you can look it up if you want to find out how much. It's not cheap. Uh, so I'm going to install this, uh, but one of the things that I like to do is I'm going to put it immediately on the D drive, okay? Because again, remember, if you have issues with space and probably, well, see, in my case, it's already in the D drive, so I'll install it. I'll just pause this here for a second. So as you can see, Bridge has been installed, but once it's installed, uh, for each individual student, you have to sign in and sign out. Yeah, it's a bit inconvenient. Uh, if you have multiple classes and again you sign in with your Google account so everything works with that account and it's uh, really important so I'm signed in and uh, as you can see uh, we're just going to check uh, the account settings and I would again do this right away at the beginning and I would also go around and talk with each student and make sure they did this because this project is not that hard to do once everything's set up right. So you go in your Quixel bridge, which is open, and you may want to pin it to the student's desk. You know, pin this, uh, pin your Unreal Engine, pin your game launcher, okay? So that all this stuff is available. Oops, I'm going to go back a step. So you go to Edit under Settings, all right? And again, you want to send this to the drive that you're saving with the lots of room, okay? So in this case, I created a folder called Quixel Bridge, and you can just click on here and create it. And all the content that I download will go there. Now, one thing that's important and you may want to do is if you have different students using the same computer, each one of them should have their own folders. That's important because if student A doesn't follow instructions and downloads 60 things, well, you can go to that student and make him remove. Uh, some of the items. I want to remind you that you're going to see that in this software, there's just a ton of stuff, you know, thousands and thousands of files. But for this to work and to make it simple for a classroom, don't let students download more than 10 to 20. Okay, so that means they need to plan ahead of time, which is what we're going to be doing shortly. So the reason we're doing all this first is to make sure that everything does work. Okay. Uh, and I'll just go here. This has really powerful search capabilities. And uh, I'll have a video more on Quixel a little bit later. But it, you can see you got all kinds of easy to find things. Uh, and when you're done, let's say you're sharing this with several students. 
uh, for whatever reason. So they would individually sign out at the end of class. And at the end of the next class, they would sign back into their Quixel account. Okay. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me know at the bottom. And uh, that's it. Thanks.